Hi, I'm Christoph, and today we're not going to delete the cube. I'm going to show you the settings of my new cloud shader. The cloud shader has two settings for colors. One is for the outside color, and the other is for the inside color. With the edge softness, we can go for some soft and fluffy clouds. And with the glow, we can add some extra glow. If we set the glow value to the same as our softness, we get no glow at all. The cloud height and width obviously controls the width and the height of our cloud. So we can make it a very tall cloud or a very stretched cloud. Sometimes some of the details and uh, geometry of the cloud gets stretched. So there's a stretch details section and this allows you to compensate for this. Then we have our shadow color, which controls our shadow. Um, let's set it to a darker color so we can see what we're doing. We have a transparency, so we can just delete the shadow altogether. And then we have shadow detail and shadow texture. Both control the edge and the texture of our shadow. We also have shadow resolution, which controls the resolution of our texture. There's also a detail scale, and this controls the scale of our details. So we can go for a very soft looking shadow or something that has a lot of texture to it. Next up, there's shadow paint depth. This is a very subtle effect but it has to do with the edges um, and it gives a more sharp effect on the edges. Next up, we have shadow up and down, which controls the up and down of our shadow. This helps if we control our height and width of our shadow. Also, if we move our shadow detail, it might be that we need to move the shadow a bit up and down to get what we want and different results. Next up, we also have an angle of our shadow and this moves our shadow from left to right. Last but not least, we have shadow complexity and this adds uh, some extra uh, texture to the center of our shadow. Now we come to our detail parameters. Uh, the large detail is basically these large sections of the cloud. We can control the amount and also the size from very small to very big. Then we have small detail. Let's set it to maximum. And there's also a size indication. And then we have edge detail amount. This is some very, very small detail. And uh, I suggest you use this very subtly. And there's also a scale for this one. Next up, we have our distortion. The scale of our distortion uh, controls the size of our distortion. For instance, we can set it to a very large scale. And the distortion controls the amount of distortion. And as you can see, with a high setting on the scale, 
and then having just a little subtle nudge on the distortion we can get lots of really great textures on the edge of our cloud. Next up we have our edge highlight with a transparency bar and also the edge highlight center. This allows us to control edge highlights. You can get a dark result or go for an actual highlight and then control it with the transparency. You can also use it with a color similar to the background to make it blend in with the background more. Then we have our randomizer. Basically our cloud gets randomized because uh, our location is plugged into the randomizer. If we only want to randomize our cloud once, we go from random to randomizer, and then it only generates one random cloud each time we copy paste it. Next up, we have a gradient amount. This is just a subtle gradient. I'm going to remove our shadow so you can see it better. And this just gives a subtle gradient for a bit of added texture. And we can also control the height of the gradient for a different effect. Then we also have the vector curve. And this allows us to manipulate the shape of our cloud and get some different shapes. You can get carried away and make very weird shapes, but they don't always work well. So subtle is the key. And that concludes our short introduction to my cloud shader. If you download my shader, you will also get a file that has some presets. Have a look at the settings, and I hope these will help you create your own clouds. Let me know how I can improve this shader. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe, and talk to you later.